at the you know the beginning of the digital uh, business, you know, right around the late 1990s, early 2000s, it was amazing how quickly um, digital businesses were growing. Uh, you know, I was at the Denver Post at the time, and you know, we grew our digital business from two million to 20 million in the course of about five years. So the the rate of of acceleration into digital was was pretty substantial um, in the beginning and. Um, you know, it, it was um, fascinating to see that, that growth and the adoption, not only by publishers, but also by consumers. Um, and, you know, the, the fact that it grew so fast and then there started to be lots of disruption in the space with um, all kinds of online only players emerging and publishers trying to uh, understand you know, how they needed to adjust their businesses to, to adapt to changing consumer habits and, and changing the way uh, businesses communicated with consumers. Uh, that, that's been a, um, you know, a long journey over, over the past 20 years. And, uh, you know, there's, there's some, obviously some very positive um, outcomes to that transition in that, you know, the consumers have, uh, lots of uh, ways to connect with each other and with businesses and to find out news and information. Um, you know, now we're to a point where we're um, trying to help consumers understand, you know, where they can get credible information and um, also help businesses um, um, better understand how to connect with quality audiences because uh, obviously not all audiences are on the internet are desirable to have your brand associated with. Um, and we are uh, starting to see, you know, some trends with advertisers in that they're, they're trying to uh, direct their dollars uh, towards um, more local, credible local media outlets than they were apt to do even two years ago. 